in Mombasa, the Old Town area emerged as a key hotspot as soon as Mombasa County began registering high COVID-19 figures. But as our special projects editor, Asha Mwilu, now reports, it is the dramatic sequence of events in the last few days that may have pushed authorities to act. Take a listen. With a total area coverage of 72 hectares, this small neighborhood in Mombasa County hosts most of this city's heritage. For 15 days, residents of Old Town will be confined to these borders, with no movement allowed in or out in a bid to stop the spread of the novel coronavirus. The boundaries have been defined as Mulango Wapapa Road to the north, the Indian Ocean to the east, Makadara Road to the south, and Digo Road to the west. Shida Mombasa ni maji. Walo na safirisha maji kwenda kuusa pale ndani. Yo ni sawa, kwa sababu yo ni basic, kwenye necessity. Walo andaka kuenda hospitali, watawezesha kufika. Old Town's picturesque streets and narrow corridors that are reminiscent of its deep cultural history may signal a calm and incident-free zone. But Old Town can pack quite the punch. And health officials responding to COVID-19 in the area have learned this the hard way. With 64 confirmed positive cases, Old Town now has the second highest number of COVID-19 cases in the entire country. The number of infections spiraled after the death of a well-known herbalist and cleric only two and a half weeks ago. Five members of the cleric's household tested positive for the new coronavirus, prompting health officials in Mombasa to activate mass testing in Old Town area, a move that was met with defiance. The mistrust in the process has stirred a relentless back and forth between Mombasa's governor and residents of Old Town. Even though Governor Joho did heed to these calls and took the COVID-19 test publicly, Old Town residents complained that Joho's stern remarks left them jilted. The result was this. A brazen disregard of the social distancing rules. What is going on in Old Town, Mombasa? For example, we have restrained ourselves from, you know, applying force and doing certain things that we have to do. For 15 days, Old Town will now experience a partial lockdown. Even though its residents can move freely within designated border points, there will be no movement in or out of the area. But government officials know how tough it will still be to contain the spread of the virus in the tight-knit homes of this neighborhood. With these realities staring directly at health officials, what will determine the success of the restricted movement in Old Town will be highly dependent on how residents of this neighborhood behave for the next two weeks. Ashamulu, Citizen TV.